Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a Divi tutorial. It's going to be a really cool one. Um, it's a nice little trick to create a compact list of recent posts using the Divi blog module. So we're going to put it in the sidebar area and use it as a place to show our recent posts. And we're going to make a little thumbnail there, make it square. Um, so it's a really cool little trick. I'm going to show you. Let's get started. All right, so here we go. This is kind of a nice one. I really like how this looks, and I guess the just to start off, it's a replacement of using a widget. So you would have to use a widget to display the recent posts, and this is using um, the blog module, and then we're hacking it to display the image in a little little square thumbnail on the left side, and then the title and the date. And just to clarify, we're not putting it in a widget we're replacing the widget area with a sidebar or like a column, maybe in the theme builder, or just a column. Like a lot of times on your main blog page, you can just have a column where it's maybe a quarter or a third of a column on the right and then the grid on the left. And so that would be where this would go. So I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna to go to my example website. Here we have an example. Basically choose a row and a column structure here. We're using, I think it's three quarters and one quarter. Um, but you could use you know any of these and just go ahead and add a blog module and the blog module will be set to full width by default what I mean by that is in the design tab here under layout set to full width and then I've just gone through and I think I've added I think I made the title bold and I made the the date gray and just to point out I have turned off under elements here, I've turned off everything except the image, the date, yeah, image and date, okay. And the title is just always there, but yeah. So that's all turned off and all we're gonna do is add that snippet, so make sure you're following along the blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link is in the description there. So the first thing we're going to do is actually add the class. So right here is the class. It's a custom CSS class that we're going to add to the blog module. So we're going to copy that and then go into this module, into the settings, into the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes toggle, and paste it right there. I already have it there. Make sure you don't have the dot. And there you go. PA blog sidebar list. And after that, go back again and grab the snippet. Now here I have some instructions where to add that. You can add it in a child theme or in your Divi theme options, custom CSS. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this. So just copy that and then go back here. I'm gonna add it in the page so you can see it live. So right here, I'm going to just paste this in here and you watch what happens. There, just like that, we're done. And you know, if that's all you want, then you're done. And I'll just show you a couple of things. We have the width of the image here set to 100 pixels. It's 100 pixels wide in this first snippet. You could change that. In the next one here, we're basically saying that we want the width of all the text, so the title and the date, anything like that. We want it to be 100% minus 100 pixels. So 100% wide minus the 100 pixels of the image. Then we're saying padding left, and that's that space between the image and the text. So again, you could change that. And then down here in the next thing, we're saying padding top 100 pixels. Basically take that number and always match it. Like if you want to change it, just always match it. So if I want to change that, um, let's just do it. Let's say I want to make it 120. Okay, you can see that it's not quite working and that's to be expected until we get done here. Change it to 120 everywhere. And there you go. So you know, if you want the thumbnail a little bigger. And by the way, we're making the thumbnail square with this snippet right here. If we were to take this out, um, it would not be square. It would just be the default. And you could do that too. I'm just, I'm just showing you the options here. And then down here, another option. I've just adjusted the spacing. So basically this last snippet here is adjusting the spacing between each post. And then it's adding a one pixel thick border. Like if I was to change that just to show you. See the borders right there. And you could change the color or whatever. I just made it gray. And then the padding and margin is equal so that it the way it looks right there. But again, you can change. So the things that you could edit, the border, the spacing there, 
and the the hundred pixels, um, and then the padding. That would be things that you could edit. Like if I would make that, if I'd want to make it further away, see that. So, little things like that. But there you go. And like I was saying, you could have this. Maybe right now I would add another blog module, and let's say I'd want you know this one to show. Um, maybe I'd want this to show in a grid right here or full width like that. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't matter, it's preference. Um, and so I could do something like that. And by the way, I could even come in here and add a text module above here. Let's say, let's say I wanna have a headline. I wanna say recent posts. And then I want that to be like an H2 or something like that. And then I can drag this up above here there you go so you can kind of build your whole sidebar now with with divi you could add a search module um you could yeah that's pretty cool what you can do here and you could go ahead here and add a sidebar module maybe you wanted a widget to show like a tag cloud or some archives go ahead and do that i'm just saying you could add this here and then below it add a sidebar module let's just go ahead and do that real quick see if i have any widgets set up. I don't really know. By default, it pulls in the sidebar widget area um, and see like that, for example, right here was the recent post. Now, do you think that ours was a little improved <laughs> over that? <laughs> um, I think so. So that's kind of why we did this tutorial. But if you wanted to still have any of these other things, you could still do that down below. All right. So there you go. Now you know how to make a nice compact list of recent posts there in the Divi sidebar area with that Divi blog module. So as you can see, you have a lot of options there, a lot of freedom to design however you want, and then, you know, customize the snippet as well. All right, if you've enjoyed this, be sure that you're subscribed here and give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you wanna see next. We always have a lot of tutorials, you know, every Tuesday and Thursday we try to put a video out. So let us know if there's something in particular that you want us to do and we'll try to squeeze it in. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.